Okay, in this uh, recording we're going to create a map and I'm going to give you some resources that will help you do this because it gets a little hairy. Um, what we're going to do is uh, inside of your project folder you need to create a new folder. Okay, and inside of that folder um, I'm creating a new file. Okay, and it's called text files and then the file itself we're going to call room descriptions.txt. Okay, so you want to have a, a, just a text file in a folder off your main project. The folder called text files. The file itself called room descriptions.txt. And we're going to build our map based off of this. So pause and, and get that set up. Okay, so the format that I have here, and there are several different ways I think you could approach this. This is just what I sort of hacked out, I think is um, I've got a text file and I want to be able to build my map inside of the text file. All right, I want to be able to define, define the rooms, define what exits, link where, and build the map just right here inside of a single file. So what I've done is um, if you can create a file that just has a couple, these, um, that has, looks like this, where it says room name, okay, this is going to be the uh, title of the room or the name of the room. Uh, we've got descriptions, and these get read into the description array, which we talked about earlier. And then you've got the exit, uh, the exits for that room. Now this room number here is just for my own sanity, okay? Uh, the, the program right now never reads room number, but I just put that there so that I can see what the room number is. And I can see that this exit links south to room two, and then north to room six. And then room number two is called a peaceful glen. Room number three is an entrance to a mine. Room number four is inside the mine, and they've all got descriptions and exits linking around. But you want to create a text file with this format, okay? Go ahead and just create two rooms to start just to see if you can get it working that way before you create any more. So pause and get your room description set up. All right, so let's look at how I do this. First of all, you can pull this code, all right? The code I'm about to show you. Before I show you the code, I'm going to show you where to get it. If you go to downloads.linuxclassroom.com, I have a file there called roomsnippet.txt. All right, you can download that and you'll be able to pull in everything I'm about to show you. All right, but I'm gonna take a second and explain it as best I can. Um, so, here we are uh, inside of game logic. And the constructor method now for this, all right, immediately creates just room zero. Okay, and then we create a, an array list called room info, and I read room descriptions into that using the read lines method. Okay, the read lines method is given to you in that file, and this is just a standard thing you can pull off the internet. Okay, it accepts a uh, file name as a string. Had to pause there, I caught a pop up somehow. Um, and what it does is it creates a filed reader, a buffered reader, um, and it essentially what it comes down to is it takes the file and it reads it into an uh, array of lines and then it returns all right, a, an array list of all the lines in the file where every line is a new index. So in this case, uh, what it re when it returns lines here, read lines, um, we're gonna catch that up here as room info and array position zero is going to contain room name, array position one will contain number, array position two will contain, contain description, array position three, four, five, six. Every line is a new, new array position for that string array list. Okay? Um, and so we've got that entire file now encapsulated inside of room info. And we'll be sort of parsing it now by semicolons and spaces. All right, so we're going to loop through, it loops through room info.size, it splits it by spaces, and it splits it into two separate variables, one by semicolons. And essentially, the upshot is, and I'm not going to walk through the, the whole thing here, um, is it crawls through that file, and every time it sees the word room name, okay, it uh, increments a number called room count by one and creates a new room with that number. All right. So every time it sees the word room name, the first time it sees it, that's room one. The second time it sees it, that's room two. And then it reads the descriptions into the right places and the exits into the right places, okay? And so that's the upshot 
of this method using this. We read a file in and then we parse it out and then create a series of different rooms. And you know, if you're really interested here and you want to know how this works, uh, I suggest you take a look at it um, and, and really try to you know, figure out you know, how this is working and maybe you can find a better way to do it. Okay. But when I run this at this point after implementing that logic, all right, if I type look, I start off in room one and you can see that I'm at the ruins of a shattered castle. You stand here, okay? And I can do a quick test to make sure that it's working for both rooms like this. Um, I can go to the uh, game logic and I can find create character, which is I think all the way down at the bottom here. And instead of placing the PC in room one when I start, let's place him in two. Let's find out what happens. So I'll click run now. Create characters, place me in room two. And you can see that I'm in room two, which is a peaceful glen that has exits. Okay? Um, so if you can implement that code, realistically, if, you, if you're not interested in reading through it all and seeing how it crawls through that file, um, it was fun writing it. it I imagine it would be fun um, sort of hashing it out and finding a better way. Uh, you can always download it from downloads.linuxclassroom.com. Copy and paste it in and uh, you should have map creation working. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk about the move command and how we move from one room to another.